Okay, one more for the day, alright? So, uh, I have a bunch of non-constant real linear functions that are a group under composition. Um, such that all elements of G have a fixed point. Okay, so... Actually, the only linear functions that don't have a fixed point are the ones with A equals 1, right? So it's like functions of the form AX plus B such that besides those with A equals 1 and B non-zero. Okay, and I have a group of these and I want to show... All elements of G have a fixed point. Okay, that's, that's these. And then... I'm confused why this statement is true. Hang on. So the claim has to be, wait, really? That if you have two functions, so assume for contra that um, ax plus b and cx plus d are functions with different fixed points. And then I want to get a bad function out of this. Um, wait, what? Do I? So if I just take the subgroup generated by these, that's not enough, right? Different fixed points. Um, so the elements... Uh, there's like only one thing I can do that could plausibly work, I think. Uh, minus the over... Okay, so con okay, we'll do it this way. Consider two functions, x plus b and c, x plus d, and g. Should also be in g. Okay, and then I'm just going to compose them to get a function with um, something, something will go wrong. Okay, compose. Uh, Alright. a times c times plus d times a times doesn't matter which way order I do it in. Oh, whatever. Let's just let's do the the inverses first, just to be consistent. C times composition. Okay, so this is an element of G. And it should equal something. Um, okay, so the constant, the coefficient of x is just that, and so then I have to work out what the constant coefficient is, which is um, holy shit, um, minus b, minus ad, um, plus bc, plus d, I think. So b minus ad plus bc plus d equals zero. Meanwhile, ax plus b has fixed point, uh, whatever it is, b over a minus one, I think, and has fixed point. We'll say non identity functions. Has fixed point uh, c minus one. So we're fine, right? Plus B. So in other words,
Uh, okay, cool. All right, we're done. Um, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I'm curious how they managed to phrase this in a way that made sense to the high school kids. I've, I'm assuming they didn't use group. Um, oh, let me just read this statement on the internet. How do you scroll on this website? Yeah, this could be napkin fodder, honestly. Um, because I think you get some practice with... Oh my god, they actually called it G? <laughs> okay, that, that was not what I... I expected them to just have a... I mean, well, they did have a set. Wow, okay. Um All right, the more you know. Be a group of Okay, um... So it's enough to show, well, well, let's just say unique fixed point. So we just... Okay, I, what order did I do this in? I did a GF. G inverse, F inverse, X. Which was what we wanted. You know, I think this was never popular. Like, I know that there are some places where, um, in proof classes, they teach that you use the abbreviation www for which was what we wanted. Um, I've seen that, like, in, like, a couple places, but I think, at least in the US, it never caught on. I guess it's too hard to guess what it means. Commutator FE when? I mean, you can write one and send it to some contest and see if it, what happens. <laughs> Okay, we got three solves today, I guess, if you count the first thing as a solve. 
Honestly, the real plan news was problem was like the best problem we've done on the stream in a while, I think, in terms of actual instructional value rather than goofing off value. Okay, um... Oh my god. Thank you, Trisky, for the follow. Uh, commutator. I don't know how to attack this problem. It's literally just like... You, you, uh, I don't know. You follow a lot of definitions and it, it things work out. Mm, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> 